1090. This time it was Charlemagne's empire that crumbled, and with it his dream of free and educated men. Roads were unsafe. Travelers needed protection from the most powerful landlords, barons, and abbots. The feudal era had begun. <laughs> yeah, perish! Come on, you silver, quick! Take it, my lords, take it! Oh, the bandits! What a hell! Well, uh... Hand it over. <laughs> it's a lucky day. Let's go. <laughs> Help fire! Help fire! The tower's on fire! Make a chain. Watch out, you're getting my feet all wet. Listen, I, I can't even get near enough to throw water on it. It's too hot. Hooray for fires, 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 hooray for fires. Oh, it's a pretty nice looking fire. Yeah, it's quite a show. Uh, I'll show you a show or two, you bumpkin. Uh, oh. And you. Get moving and fight the fire, nitwit. Ah, uh, why bother now? Uh, well. He's here. Yeah. My lord, the man of art has just arrived. Well... Patience, my friend. Look here. The very latest in dungeons. Hmm. Actually, it's not bad. Uh, up there, you've doubled the center beam. It's useless, but at least it looks nice. Huh? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Get to work. Make it quick. Now then, you see, it's starting to take shape. I told you so. But tell me, what's this weird shape it's in? I don't like it that way. Well, then... Huh? How's that? Tell me what you think. Are this any better? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, sure. I, I mean, I've told you and told you to keep to my plans, imbecile. Can't you see this dungeon's leaning sideways? The hired help ain't what it used to be. Hey, you down there! You don't look too stupid. Come, give me a hand. Sure. There, all set. Just make sure the scaffolding's nice and straight. Good, let's get on with it. Your horse is ready, my lord. We can leave now. Fine. Mm, hunting, we will go. Get along, little doggy. Yep, yep. <laughs> The collars on those oxen are too tight. We have to be able to do something about that. Ah, nice little beastie. Mm. Mm. Now take a look what happens. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Well, then, perhaps like this, reinforcing the girth. Oh, no. Uh, that won't work. We'll have to think up something else, Dratit. Uh, what seems to be the trouble, my lord? Uh, trouble is my numbskull here had rather escaped and be of service. There. Ah. I believe that this time you'll be satisfied with my work. I hope so, for your sake. Ah, uh, real nice. The view's pretty good. We'll be able to spot rich travelers. Say, boss, it's not bad, eh? We can see them for leagues all around. Oh, do you see what I see down there on the road? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at last, a settlement where we can hope to find safety. Let's push on quickly, my friends. Come on, get up! Get up! Go, go! Here we are. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You seem like a decent lad. You should come to this city. I'll find you an interesting job. Bert and some other serfs have escaped and are trying to reach the city in a better life. They're after us. Hide, all of you. <laughs> so, my fine friends, you hope to make a run for it, huh? But... Shannon! We are missing one. The nobles were busy adding to their property and profits. At that time, the late 11th century, the clergy did likewise. But it was the townsfolk, protected by their walls of stone, who started to think free thoughts. All this would come as quite a surprise for our young friend. Ah, my good-hearted lad, a penny for the poor. But I have nothing. 
water, my brother. Supper is ready. What rich fabric! And those gems! It's all so beautiful. Oh! The city's really interesting. God. No! 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 Oh, 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 oh. That is, depending on what you find interesting. Why, sure, it's interesting. The proof. Good day. Good day, stranger. Ah, oh. oh, my boy. My newest project. Here, study the blueprint. The basilica will be cross-shaped, formed by the intersection of the nave and choir with the transepts. And I won't hear of making low vaults. Mm. I want them to surge upward towards heaven. May I have a look? According to my figures, with flying buttresses, it ought to work. Huh? Oh, my arm! Oh, and yet, according to my figures, you all right? Thanks for everything, Pierre. I think I'm going to have to use new figures. If it falls down, that means it can't hold up. If it can't hold up, that means it lacks support. 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 Eureka! Buttresses, my boy. Buttresses. That's the answer. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. I somehow get the feeling he doubts me. <laughs> my boy, now listen. This time I'm sure. Must be doing it on purpose. Defies all reason. My boy, you all right? As you can see, couldn't be better. Oh, I'm just fine. His Holiness has just decreed a crusade against the infidels, guardians of the tomb of Christ. These are his words. Go, my sons, do battle and vanquish the pagans. It is God's will. Yes, my friends, it's God's will. To, to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, it's God's, God's will. will. To Jerusalem. To Jerusalem, God wills it! Hey. Oh. Hey! Hey, friend, you how's it going? I prefer to Bunch stay as far as possible sacks. from that Go car. on, get moving! And besides, I have my work to finish up, not to mention the most important of my reasons. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Forward! March! In the, In the service, service of God, God forward, forward march! march. Not a single Western monarch took part in that first glorious call to the Crusades. All three, William II of England, Henry IV of Germany, and Philip I of France, had been excommunicated by the irascible Pope Urban II. Years have passed since the first Crusades set out. In the town, life goes on peacefully. People sleep without a stitch on, but surprisingly take their baths fully dressed. Rather skimpy baths at best. Let's go say hello to baby sister. Let her sleep, huh? Be good, my children, till tonight. This morning, there is a great commotion in the public square. Peter the Hermit has returned. Our strength and our faith carried the day. And so I humbly ask of God the Father, have we erased our sin? Time goes by. And one fine day... We must never forget the day we surrounded those savages and gave them a good word. Oh, you're back. Oh, you see, old pal, we went at a full battle, 15,000 strong. After a few minor points were destroyed, ah! we succeeded in convincing our adversaries to see it our way. Finally, it was me that raised our flag over the fortress at Jerusalem. Now that you've become a free man, you'll be able to stay here and help us. 
Oh man, what a cute little poultry vendor. Oh, she's cute, sure, but I'm afraid, so you're not exactly what I call her type. Look at yourself, a little chubby round the gills, wouldn't oh, you say? Listen. Oh, let me go, you brute! Oh, she loves me, she loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not. I'll be arrested for indecent exposure at the least, I'll catch the grip. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me. Come on, Lurch. You get me. your hands off that poor beast. All of an animal's strength lies in the shoulder and neck. Anything it wears in that area must not choke the beast. But what is the best thing? Well, maybe a stiff collar. Huh? Now, now, put on your thinking cap, my boy. The animal would hurt itself with a stiff collar. Stiff? No, no. Impossible stiff. What a crazy idea. <laughs> I don't see what's crazy about my idea. Seems to me it's better than yours up to now. Today is a holiday. Everyone's off work, so they can go to the tournament. And one of the adversaries is none other than... Chief, go on and give him a good licking. Rosé, Rosa. All right, Father. What is the name of this country? Ah, my son. I've got it. That's it. Huh? Yeah, take a look. I told you so. The solution is a stiff shoulder collar. This will certainly be one of the century's great finds. From now on, my name will be passed on to posterity. Do you realize my invention will pave the way for cargo, transport, trade? My invention means a better life. Everyone will benefit. Do you realize... What does all this mean? They've stolen my idea. Some people are truly unscrupulous. I certainly agree. Several decades have passed. Grandchildren have grown up. Yet another crusade has set out only to come back defeated. Cities have gained full freedom. There is a university open to everyone free of charge. Theology, canon law, dialectics, the arts and medicine are taught by masters such as Albert the Great of Germany, Thomas Aquinas from Italy, Abelard from Paris, and Roger Bacon the Englishman. Today one of Bert's grandchildren is receiving his diploma. Fire! 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 It was God's will. Yea, the will of God. And none shall dare oppose the will of God. And on this very spot, with the consent of all, we shall construct a great house for the people. A cathedral where all may come to pray, where none shall be refused refuge. Is that not a glorious thought? But that is not all. I have more news. One moment, we have here among us two great builders. Hooray! We must all Hooray! take this opportunity Hooray! to make a contribution. Thanks. The people enthusiastically set to work. Are you thirsty, man? Boy, am I. You certainly aren't wasting any time. Come oh, on, come steady on. on the winch! Further, further! My, my, they are enthusiastic, aren't they? <laughs> hey, what's that mess you're making? What's it good for? Nothing, that's what. They work with rare dedication. Uh. Well. That's not too bad, but it, it looks too new. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's a nut. Only a complete, utter idiot would damage that work of art. Now, it looks much more antique.
Oh, I can't believe it. Noon break. Say hello to Daddy. Come on, say hello to your Daddy. Okay, we're going to start the hoist now. You guys ready up there? Yep, let her roll. Yeah. Watch out. Oh, I'll show you. Watch out, Lurch! <laughs> the infidels are back in Jerusalem. They desecrate the Holy Land. Everyone join up for the new crusade. Let us not permit pagans to touch the tomb of Christ. We'll be back soon. Lurch, take care of my oldest son. All right. I'll show him what I think of heathens. Outside the city of Acre, the troops of Philip Augustus, King of France, were joined by those of Richard, King of England. Well, my friends, we've got bad news, sir. Well, let me have it. The Emperor Barbarossa is dead. Dead? He had just laid siege to Coria, capital of Armenia, when he decided to go swimming. <coughs> Alas, he got cramps on uh, ground. <coughs> what shall we do? We shall have to continue besieging Acre, Richard. Come what may. Good. Now, no, Philip, we I no longer have enough men. We'd better wish. attack. Yeah. You're right. Let's sound yeah. the call to combat. Suddenly from hey, the mountains comes so Saladin's army to save the besieged the city. Us. There's no way we can attack now. Camps were pitched on either side of the ramparts, lookouts were posted, and between skirmishes, the armies fraternized. <laughs> A no-man's land was created, complete with shops, more than 7,000 of them. There was haggling, bartering swords for liquor, coats of mail for goats. There were even wild parties. But how can we do battle when we're so outnumbered? Various tactics were reviewed. And finally, a desperate attack was launched. The Crusader's flag flew over Acre by the time King Philip of France made his farewells. You have done your duty, Philip. Richard I continued on towards Jerusalem, where he earned his nickname, Richard the Lionhearted. Paul, we're surrounded. Crusaders reached Jerusalem. Richard didn't dare lead an attack. The walls were too strong, and his army was surrounded by Saladin's men. The besiegers ran too great a risk of becoming the besieged. And so his troops laid down their arms and set up camp. One day, at dawn, while the Crusaders slept... What? Hey, what's going on? Oh, a fearless buddy. Let's get on! Come on, pal. Let's go. Richard and some of his cavaliers had time to don their armor and lead an attack. 
After hours and hours of combat, Richard and his horse had more arrows than a porcupine has quills. His exhausted steed fell at last. On September 3rd, 1192, Richard and Saladin signed a peace treaty granting the Christians free access to the Holy Land. Richard the Lionhearted committed himself to another expedition later on to win back Jerusalem. His new friend Saladin replied, If I must lose my land, then I'd rather lose it to you than to any other man in the world. The years go by. Bert's children carry on his work. His grandchildren, in turn, do their share. Generation succeeds generation, and the walls grow higher. The cathedral is nearing completion. Listen to me, my brethren. A new crusade. The infidels have once again soiled the Holy Land. Listen to me. The infidels have once again soiled the Holy Land, my friends. Thank you for the cathedral. Yes, what we'll have to do is prop it up. Hey, you. Let's talk man to man. Trips, you know, make boys into men. Very well, we accept your enlistment. Eureka, I found it. Yippee, yippee. Oh, oh yippee. Oh, I've got it. My system is really perfect this time. Let's try it. Hey, up there, take it easy. Oh. It's really up to snuff, or almost. What? There's nothing serious bleeding and powder of staghorn. Powder of staghorn. Not so fast, that customer's mine. Aye, ah, right. Sometimes one gets confused, Your Worship. Right now, there's one that's still alive. This one for me. Master, will you come see our offerings for the cathedral? Oh, look, can't you see I'm yeah, I'm up to my uh, up to my neck in work. Uh, oh, wait a My second. statue is rather impressive. Now this fabric, feel it if you please. I'm sure this remarkable Madonna. He finally done stained glass window, one of marvelous ensemble. And... Fine, fine, let's go. Watch out below! It's known as flamboyant gothic. You see, it's solid. I was right after all. Veridico host muros nomine but I possible. Enter, my brethren, enter, my brethren. Come in, brethren, into the house of the Lord. Enter, my brethren. The cathedral, the house of the people, was at last complete in all its splendor. There would be a few more crusades. One of them made the mistake of attacking the Catholic city of Constantinople and looting it. The last crusade ended with the fall of Christianity's last bastion, St. John of Acre in 1291, and so ended what Pope Urban II had begun two centuries earlier. 
And whether God willed it or no, the era of the Crusades inspired Europe to some of her finest achievements in church architecture.